What's going on there folks? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster here uh, on the live stream with an update video here on this Thursday night, March 23rd, 2023, about 7.02 p.m. here along the West Coast in California. And we got a, uh, well, a rather strong solar storm coming in currently uh, as we speak, looking at uh, conditions peaking up here currently into the G3 category. Uh, looking at the current aurora forecast here shows a very strong presence here of uh, the aurora possibilities up there around 100 percent or so into the higher latitudes potentially reaching down here uh, into the states as well so continue to watch that uh, for maybe some conditions reaching down into the northern tier states that it would include montana areas around the border of canada as well uh, potentially uh, even down into uh, Oregon, northern Oregon. Uh, the G3 current conditions there, just over 7 on the KP index. So rather strong, uh, a little bit stronger than what we had seen uh, earlier this morning with that uh, pretty impressive aurora display that uh, was witnessed. Wasn't even forecasted, but it, it came about. Uh, so right now, rather strong G3 storm coming in. Um, and it looks like it was only predicted or forecasted to be a G2. So as you can see on this map here, we are, or this graph, we are well beyond the G2 level here. Now, let me see what we got here for space weather. Um, I just got back from uh, a little bit of uh, weather watching here today. Pretty crazy. Um, so this is still just from this morning, it looks like. Uh, a G3 storm. That's kind of what we're seeing right now. KP index of at least seven, and we are above that. Uh, we do have about 200 per solar cycle. Looks like uh, perhaps down to Illinois and Oregon, typically about 50 degree geomagnetic latitude there for the auroras. So get outside if you're if you're awake. And obviously it is dark here, it's getting dark uh, along the west coast as well. Get into the uh, outdoors if you have clear skies to see those auroras. Definitely throughout Canada, uh, Iceland and Greenland there. And no doubt Alaska, uh, once that gets over to your way, as uh, far as the darkness goes, uh, it should be quite a display up into the sky. So check it out, guys. Definitely pretty awesome looking. Um, let me see what we got for current solar wind here. Uh, I know the Solar Ham site, they... Uh, don't show that anymore so real-time solar wind looks like uh, the arrival of that CME that we were kind of expecting has uh, hit us but notice here the BZ BT component here is wide open uh, with the southward tilt that's allowing massive amounts of solar wind stream to flow right in uh, with a little bit of elevated uh, density although the speed's not uh, not quite there so this thing may potentially may get stronger uh, because we were expecting that uh, the CME, uh, the uh, solar wind stream there from the CME that uh, has been facing us, this guy right here, 86. Well, the current imagery shows a little bit further now um, out of direct view, but it did send us quite a bit of uh, charged particles. So that's uh, kind of what we're looking at here tonight. Quite the impressive display nobody's jumping up on it yet it doesn't even look like the uh uh solar ha ham site has jumped up on it yet um let's see here yeah okay so just wanted to get this out here folks if you are a sky watcher like i am uh, and storm watcher solar storm watcher get out there see what uh See what's out there. If you got any interesting photos, send them to me at earthmastermail at gmail.com. Again, the uh, interplanetary magnetic field there pointing towards the south, allowing quite a bit of magnetic structure or magnetic uh, charged particles to flow right in to the, uh, the planet there. I don't feel any adjustments going on here in my head. <coughs> I'm a little bit better. Of course, uh, a little bit of weather watching does help me out often as well. I'm going to post up some of uh, that video a little bit later on, but I wanted to get out the solar update. We'll be back a little bit later on with a complete update in terms of earthquake activity and whatnot uh, a little bit later on. Have a good one, folks. We'll catch you guys back here real soon. Take care.